What's going on my friends? Today I have a total body workout for you with a single dumbbell. This is going to be a high intensity circuit training workout. So we're gonna work the entire body in under 30 minutes. It's gonna get intense really fast. Our timer is kind of all over the place. So just let me be in charge of that. We're doing 45 seconds of an exercise, followed by 30, followed by 20, 20, back to 30, and then 45. Just kind of like pyramid style. Don't worry about it, you guys. I'm gonna handle that and just do what I do. So let's get warmed up. All right, guys, as always, let's start with a quick total body warm up. So go ahead and start by swinging those arms. Like I said, our uh, timer is pyramid style. So we're gonna go from a lower intensity exercise to a bit higher and then really high. So the, usually the first two exercises are gonna be with dumbbells and then the third is gonna be a body weight cardio move. All right, go ahead and throw in a kick to the butt now. So we're getting everything nice and warm. I'm actually really excited for this workout. I think it's gonna be fun. I love single dumbbell hit workout. So you're in luck today because this one's gonna be fun. All right, go ahead and now squat, push those arms forward, reach forward and then grab something imaginary, pull it back, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, push, squeeze it back, push it out, squeeze it back. Just a few more, push, squeeze, tuck the pelvis. Again, squeeze, making sure those knees aren't collapsing inward. Your glutes are strong. Last one, push, squeeze it back. Good, roll those shoulders back and down. Go ahead and step nice and wide here and just rock from side to side. As you feel more and more warm, you can get lower into this one. But right now, just kind of let it feel good. I'm feeling warmer, so I'm gonna get a little lower. Few more here. Just breathe, get low. Good, straighten those legs out and just reach to one toe, walk it over to the other, all the way up, back down and around and up again, down, around, up, down, around and up. Just a few more. Good, around, go ahead and come back down to center and just walk those feet in, heel toe, heel toe, and then roll yourself all the way up, shoulders back and down. Coming to the foot of your mat, or what would be, <laughs> we're gonna roll the shoulders forward, roll it down, walk it out to plank, and then walk it right back up. Nice, strong plank every time and then roll the shoulders back up and down between every rep here down back up roll it up shoulders back and down two more just like that roll down walk it out if you want to add something at the bottom like a cobra up dog a push-up something that feels good you do you roll it down this is our last one Walk it out, add something if you want, something that feels good, and roll all the way up. Shoulders come back and down. Go ahead and just start by jogging in place here. I wanna get our heart rate up now. While we're here, why don't we roll those wrists? We do have some planky stuff to do. So let's make sure those are nice and warm. All right, from here, let's switch it to a jumping jack. Nice strong shoulders, only a slight bend in the elbow. Nice job you guys, let's go ahead and switch now. High knees, we're really getting that heart rate up now. Breathing as you're running here. 
few more seconds. Good, go ahead and stand about uh, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. I'm gonna throw a punch and a punch. Alternating, pelvis is tucked, abs are engaged. I'm pivoting on the back foot. When you feel good here, I want you to start hopping those feet instead. Just hopping and punching. We are almost ready to start this workout. Few more. Good, shoulders back and down. Grab your water, grab your dumbbell. Keep an exercise mat nearby and let's do this. All right guys, first exercise. Exercise. Oh my God, why can I never say exercise? First exercise as an inchworm with a row. So I'm gonna put my dumbbell right where when I walk out to plank, it'll be right in between my hands. So I'll walk out to plank, row, walk it back up. Walk it down again, row with the opposite arm and walk it back up. We go in five seconds. So get ready. Here we go. Walk it down, row, Lock it back up. We're moving more uh, swiftly than we did in the warm up. Again, walk it out. Abs pulled in. Row. Walk it out. We are just about halfway. Keep going. Fifteen seconds left here alternating which arm is rowing and which arm is holding that plank. Two, rest. Our next exercise is a dumbbell snatch. So I'm gonna start with my right arm and I'm gonna snatch from the floor, peel that weight straight up above my head. Here we go. Straight up. I'm staying on the right side. This is our 30 second move. I want you to feel like you're cheating. You're cheating the dumbbell up there by using the power from your legs and your core. 10 seconds. Five. Rest. All right, next exercise is just a dumbbell tap. So we're gonna run it out here, tapping the dumbbell with our toes. Here we go. We are gonna do this twice. 10 seconds. Two, rest, so we're doing that again. So catch your breath here. And then after this, we'll go back to the snatch on the other arm. In five. Here we go. Just tap it out here. Find a pace that works for you. But remember, it's only 20 seconds. So push yourself. Three. Rest, all right, we snatch with the other arm in 10. In five, left arm, here we go. Remember, it peels nice and close to your body. 20 seconds. 15. 10. Five. Woo, feeling it. Rest. All right, we inchworm it out. 
row, inch it back. And then circuit one of five is done. Here we go. Walk it out, row, Abs are pulled in, guys, nice and tight. We're halfway here. Who's getting tired? I am. Almost done. All right, guys, a little extra rest, and we're moving on to circuit number two. All right, my friends, next exercise is a single leg hinge and a row. So I'm gonna start with my right arm doing the work, my left leg planted. So let's all just do that, stay on the same page. What I'm gonna do is just hinge down, row here, and then come right back up. So I hinge down, row, come right back up. We go in five seconds. So get your dumbbell. And here we go. Hinge down, row, right back up. Nice and controlled. If you need to, if you're collapsing, you can always keep that back leg on the ground for the uh, hinge, which I might have to do, I, unless I can keep my balance, press through that big toe, as well as driving through your heel. Don't forget which side we're doing, right? Right arm, left leg. Hello, gosh, my balance is no good today. And my booty's still sore from the other day. Two. Rest. All right, dumbbell's gonna stay in the same hand. So the right hand is gonna do the work again. We're gonna pop it on our shoulder, squat down, pulse. Pop it up overhead. We're gonna cheat it up there, thrust it up. Here we go. So it's here, I squat down, pulse, pulse, pop. Good. Pulse, pulse, 20 seconds. Pulse, pulse, thrust it up. Hello, Franny. 10 seconds. My dog has come in to visit us. Five. However, now she's gonna go sniff around and get into trouble. Good. Set the dumbbell down. I'm gonna do four high knees, four butt kicks, alternating between the two. Body weight cardio. We got this. Here we go. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Don't step on your dumbbell. Two. Rest. We're doing it again. Four high knees, four butt kicks, and then we are going to double pulse and press on the opposite uh, arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice and fast. Just keep alternating legs. Keep moving. Two. Woo! All right, dumbbell. Comes onto the opposite shoulder. I'm gonna go my left now. We squat down to pulse and then press overhead. Franny, where are you? Pulse, pulse, cheat it up. Pulse, we're trying to see what Franny's doing and I can't tell. Hopefully she's not getting into trouble. 15 seconds. Watch those knees. Don't let them collapse in. Five. 
cheat that dumbbell up. Two. Good, all right. We hinge and row. Dumbbell stays in the left hand. Hinge down, row. In five. Here we go. Hinge, oh my gosh. And row. Yes, okay, I got this now. Hinge, row. Elbow slides alongside the body, almost like you're trying to bring the bottom of that dumbbell to touch your hip, right? Shoulder stays in your back pocket. My balance is nowhere to be found right now. Almost done, guys. Two. Rest. All right, little extra rest, quick sip of water if you need it, then we're moving on. All right, guys, next exercise is a lateral lunge with an up and over. So that means we're gonna have the dumbbell on one shoulder with two hands. You'll lunge into that side. And as you come together, you'll press that dumbbell up and overhead and then go to the opposite side. So I'm gonna start with it on my right side and I will lunge to my right leg. Here we go, right here, here, up and over, other side. Take your time here so you can move with control. Twenty five seconds left. Fifteen. Total body on fire. Abs pulled in. Glutes engaged. Three. Oh, my shoulders. Rest. All right, we're going to do a clean. Means we're just gonna pop dumbbell onto our shoulder, bring it down, pop it onto the other, pop it out to plank. Repeat. Here we go. So pop it up on one, other side, two, down, out, in, up, up, out, in. I was adding a squat for a second. Rest. All right, cardio. We're gonna do one more kind of burpee. We're going to pop it out to plank, pike jump or snap jump, pop it into a squat. Here we go. Out, snap. Squat, out, snap, squat, snap, squat, stay strong through the legs, rest, let's do that again, breathe here, we go again in seven seconds, hi Fanny, Here we go. Out, snap, pop it into that squat. Eight seconds left here. Woo! Yes. Eh. Grab the dumbbell. We got that. Clean burpee. We go in three. Clean. Clean. Pop. on fire.
up and over. Lateral lunge. We go in five. Oh man. Here we go. Lunge. Up and over, other side. Oh, here go the dogs. Thirty seconds. Oh my gosh. Twenty. I am toasted right now. Ten. Oh my gosh, five, three. Ah. All right, guys, we've got two circuits left. All right, guys, next exercise is a curtsy lunge with a curl. So what we're gonna do is curl it up while our legs are together, and then we will uh, step to the side for a curtsy lunge, and then we will step together. Oh my gosh, my hair, ah, it's in a knot. And then we'll curl again. Okay, oh my gosh, we're going in 10 seconds. Looks like I'm gonna do it with my hair down. Oh, we got this, we go in three. Here we go, curl, step back and behind, down, curl. Did you see how quick I was at getting my hair up? I am super impressed with myself right now. Sometimes I just amaze myself. We are just about halfway here. Just through the interval. We're over halfway through the whole workout. 15 seconds left. If you can't do curtsy lunges, maybe you don't like the way they feel on your knees, you can always just opt for a regular lunge. Five. Just do the best you can. Rest, all right. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell by the uh, top part here and I'm gonna swing it, right? I'm gonna hinge at the hips, let it swing between the legs, and then I'll thrust my hips forward and the dumbbell swings in front. Here we go. Let the chest drop without the back rounding. Use power from the glutes. You are not powering through those arms. Arms are in fact dead weight, except for the fact that you're holding the dumbbell. Seven seconds left. Use your glutes. Rest. All right. We have got, where are we? Ah, we gotta do four. Jump rope jumps, and on the fifth one, we're gonna try to jump as high as we can. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Do the best you can. Land soft on your feet. Three. Good. We're doing that again. Catch your breath. You only have to do that one more time. In five. Here we go. If you need to just stick with the jump rope, that's fine. Hi, Fran. Five seconds. All right, we're going back to the swing. Back to the swing. Here we go. Remember, it's not a squat. Think more along the lines of a deadlift. 15. 10 more seconds, guys. 
and we curtsy squat curl and then we have one circuit left three good my hair today this is not working for me curtsy squat what curtsy curl did i say squat we're not squatting anymore curl curtsy obviously i'm delirious slow and controlled here let your breathing slow 30 more seconds our entire last circuit is down on the ground yay well let's not say yay yet there is a bear involved 10 almost done my friends two rest all right we're gonna come all the way down on the ground for our last circuit all right my friends we're down on the ground we've got a single leg bridge and a pullover so let's pick a leg let's plant our right leg first i'm going to take my dumbbell hold it by the fat ends i'm going to push myself into a bridge with the one leg my right leg and I'm gonna drop this back and behind using my lats to pull me up. Here we go, drop it back and up. Holding up nice and high, but not too high to where your back arches. So I want you to think, tuck that pubic bone in, right? So you're not arching through the back, you're engaging through the abs and you're powering through that glute. So what happens if you're unable to hold yourself in that single leg bridge, well, you can always just assist by bringing the other leg down, but still putting most of your weight into that right leg. Just do the best you can. And I can't see the timer from where I am. So pray for me, please, because my glute might fall off. <sighs> ah, yes. All right, taking your weight, we're gonna sit up on our tailbone I'm gonna grab that weight, I'm gonna twist and roll, tap one elbow, come up, twist, roll the opposite direction. If you need to, you can always do this without a weight. Sit up nice and tall, start rounding through that spine and then twist, tap, back up. Roll, twist, tap. With control, you're using your abs Roll, oh my gosh, my abs, hello. Five. Rest. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna do a variation of a plank jack, but instead of being from plank, we are gonna be doing it from bear. So you're ready to twerk with me. From bear, hop wide. Narrow. Knees just barely hover above the floor here. 10. Oh my goodness. Pressing through your pinky and your thumb. Three, two. Rest, we're doing that again. We're all right, we're on the ground. We're doing fine, right? All right, we go in three, two, here we go. Hop it wide, hop it narrow. We're almost done with this whole workout. My quads, my abs, my shoulders, all about to fall off. Five, oh my gosh, three. Okay. We're going back, twisted, roll down, grab your dumbbell. All right, we go in three. Here we go, roll, twist, tap, roll, twist, sit all the way up. 
flat back when you come all the way up and then round through the spine. If your back doesn't like this, drop the weight. If your back doesn't like it at all, try a different exercise. Switch to one of the exercises that we did before that you know works for you. Rest. All right, left leg presses into the ground. This is it, guys, 45 seconds and we're done. All right, left leg. Here we go. Lower it back. Use your lats to pull you up. Tuck that pelvis. Belly button pulled in. Abs engaged. Shoulders are out of your ears using your lats. Don't hold your breath. Oh my gosh. We're almost done, guys. Then again, I might be lying to you because I can't see the timer, but I keep thinking it can't be that much longer. And yet here we are. Almost done. Don't quit. Any minute now. There it is. Okay. All right, just hang with me here. Since we're already down and our uh, butt cheek is already cramping up, go ahead and bring one leg up and over the top and then reach through, grab, stretch. You can take this elbow here that's next to the leg that's bent and just push that knee away from you. It's gonna deepen that stretch. Make sure you're grabbing behind the thigh here and you're not compressing that uh, leg that's on top there the leg that's up in the air and just breathe and be thankful that it's over you guys did awesome all right go ahead and now release and take that leg that you were just grabbing and let it come up and over top here and look off in the opposite direction try to keep that uh, both of those shoulders on the ground and just breathe deep Your workout is done. You should feel amazing. You should feel ready to eat something healthy, something that's gonna make you happy and feel good. All right, so now <laughs> I can barely move. All right, bring that opposite foot on top, reaching through, stretching through that opposite glute now. Hello, buddy. Oh, Franny. I didn't know Franny was still in here. Oh, that's right. She's been watching me from the corner of the mat. And off she goes. Remember, you can take that opposite elbow and push that knee away from you. Deepen the stretch through that glute. All right, now go ahead. Release that leg. The leg that you're grabbing, you're now going to bring up and over and look in the opposite direction. <clears throat> and relax <sighs> gazing off over the opposite shoulder keeping both shoulders on the mat <sighs> and just breathing deep can we just stay on the ground this whole time I think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna get up guys I think I'm done with standing for the day <sighs> all right go ahead and release uh, okay, let's come all the way up. Not all the way up. Sitting up. We're going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it over. And what I'm going to do is take one arm and just thread it through here. And I'm going to stretch through the, uh, uh, the back of the shoulder here. That arm that's underneath. I don't know if you guys heard that. The dog's barking. He's like, stop it. She's making a movie. All right, go ahead and now to the other side, thread through, reach, relax, and just hang with me. All right, now let's come all the way just to like a child's pose. Stretch through, let it feel good. Amazing work, you guys. Hope you're proud of yourself. I'm disgusting. 
like literally just a mess right now. Make sure you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I love you and I will see you next time.